Hello students, welcome to LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Here myself, Mr. Jaiswal Kishan, Civil Engineering Department. And we are learning all about structural analysis. Now today we are in session number 4 for slope deflection method. And today we will be considering one more example of beam without sink. Now in previous session we have considered two span beam. Now in today's session we will be considering three span beam. Let's see. Now, here given analyze the beam by slope deflection method and draw bending moment diagram. Now, in here, let's not ask shear force diagram. In previous sum, it has been asked shear force diagram. So, we have to find out and solve and draw shear force diagram. But here, it has been not asked. So, only we have to do till bending moment diagram. Let's see. Now, here, there are three span AB span, BC span, and CD span. There are three span is given. On AB span, central point load of given of 15 kN at 2 meter distance apart. At BC span, UDL of 16 kN per meter for 3 meter distance. And for CD span, make a note that 25 kN load given but not at the center, it is eccentrically given. So for this, we have to use eccentric load formulas of IPM. Now, one more thing. Here only I given, here only 2I given and here again I given. So for BC span at the place of EI we have to keep 2 EI. Now first of all we have to find out number of unknown. So 3J minus R, J is number of joint A, B, C and D. There are 4 joint, 3 4s are 12 and reaction 3 plus 3 both fixed reactions are 6 plus 2 plus 2 4, 6 plus 4 equals to 10. 12 minus 10 equals to 2. So, theta b and theta c are by unknown. Equals to k a and a d. Now, directly we can see and say that here it is a simple support and here also simple support. So, there will be two unknown of moment. So, respectively, we have to find its unknown value and then applying formulas. So, let's start our first step of fixed end moment. Now, here different formulas has been applied for different kind of case. So first case is for center point load which we will be using this reference formula. Second is UDL so we will be using this reference formula and the third is eccentric point load we will be using this reference formula. Now let's start. Our first is point load. So here it will be coming MFAB, here it will be coming MFBA. MFAB will be minus because anti-clockwise, here it is clockwise so plus. So, minus WL by 8 as here given and plus WL by 8. W is 15 multiplied by total length 4 divided by 8 will be giving minus 7.5. Similarly, for MFBA it is plus 7.5. Now, for UDL the formula is WL square by 12. For MFBC it will be minus and for MFCB it will be plus as here shown. So, 16 into 9 divided by 12. W is given 16. Length is given 3. So L square 9 divided by 12 getting minus 12 value. Similarly for MFCB plus 12. Now here it is new case eccentric load. So first we have to counteract what is A and what is B. So you can see that here it is A and here it is B. A here given 4 uh, sorry 1 and for B it is 2 meter and entire length is 3 meter. So let's see MFCD equals to minus WA B square upon L square. Mark the formula WA B square upon L square. So W is 25 multiplied by A 1 multiplied by 2 square 4 divided by length square 3 square is 9. So after solving I will be getting minus 11.11. .11. Now many students make mistakes. So this is 11.11. .11 make plus 11.11. So that's wrong. We have to apply formula. As I have uh, explained in first session that eccentric point load formulas are different for both the end moments. So here it is plus W A square B by L square. In previous it was B square and it was A. Now here it is A square and B. So 1 square 1 2 is as it is divided by 3 square 9 W is 25. After solving this, I will be getting my 5.56. So, this was our first step of fixed end moment. So, please make sure that you do 
apply the respective formula for the keyword loading so without making any mistake now our next step is so reflection equation let's start now here there are three span so there will be six number of equation equation one two three four and five six each span will be having two equation one at for left end and one for right end let's see so this was the concept of slope deflection method equation so directly applying that formula m a b equals to m f a b plus 2 e i upon l in bracket 2 theta a plus 1 theta b minus 3 delta by f now remember here our unknown is theta b and theta c only so we will be keeping theta a will be 0 and theta d will be 0 now let's see at the place of mf ab we will be applying minus 7.5 because we have found out in step number 1 multiply by plus 2 multiply by 1 ei for ab span it is only 1 ei divided by length is 4 meter so 4 at the place of theta a it will be 0 because it is not an unknown our unknown is theta b and theta c so plus 1 theta b minus 3 delta b here in example there is no sinking given so at the place of delta we will be keeping 0 where to put value of delta will be uh, understanding in further example so right now we have to put only 0 now 2 upon 4 is 0 0.5 multiplied by 1 will be 0 0.5 only so this is my equation number 1 similarly we will be finding out MBA MBA plus MFBA plus 2 EI upon L in bracket 1 theta A plus 2 theta B previously it was 2 theta A plus 1 theta B now we have 1 theta A plus 2 theta B so at the place of 0 0.5 it will be coming 1 and at the place of this we will be giving plus 7.5 so this was our equation 1 and equation number 2. Similarly, we will be finding out for BC span and CD span. Let's see. Now, for MBC, it will be MFBC. So MFBC was minus 12. So minus 12. Now at the place of EI, please note that here for BC span, it is 2i. So we'll be keeping 2 multiplied by EI divided by length is given. 3 meter so divided by 3 and theta b is unknown as well as theta c is unknown now here both are my unknown so note where we have to keep 0 we have to keep as it is at the place of delta we will be keeping 0 so let's see minus 12 2 multiplied by 2 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 will be getting 2.6667 ea theta b and 2 multiplied by 2 4 divided by 3 will be giving 1.33 multiplied by ea theta c so this is our equation number 3 similar way we will be finding out mcv at the place of 2 theta b we have to give 1 theta b and 2 theta c at the place of 1 theta c so here 1 theta b plus 2 theta c will be equation change and after placing respective value we will be finding out equation 4 in similar way we will be finding out equation 5 and equation 6 but at the place of ei we will be keeping 1 for bc span it is only 1 length it was 1 plus 2 3 and at the place of d theta d will be keeping 0 so there will be only one unknown theta c for the equation so here the completion of step number 2 slope deflection equation so there are six number of equation we have found out for ab span mab and mba for bc span mbc mcb for cb span cd span mcd and mdc these are my six equations which we have find out. Our next step is to provide equilibrium equation. Before starting equilibrium equation, recall that equilibrium equation says that number of unknown means where are there a number of unknown, the summation of moment should be equal to zero. So let's see here we are having unknown at B and unknown at C. So M B A plus M B C equals to zero. And our second will be MCB and MCD equals to 0. So here we will be forming two equations. In previous sum, there was only one unknown, so one equation. Here two unknowns, so two equations will be coming. Let's see. So our equation number A is MBA plus MBC. This is at point B. And for MCB plus MCD, this was at point C. 
So for equation number one, we will be placing MBA value, which we have found out over here. You can see MBA. And for MBC, here is the equation. So you can see there are two, th two number of theta b. So 1 plus 2.67 is 3.67. And there is only one theta c, so 1.3 as it is. And after adding constant and keeping on the opposite side of equals to, we will be getting this equation A. Similarly, we will be finding out M B M C B plus M C D. So where is M C B? Here is equation number 4 and M C D is equation number 5. By solving it, we will be getting our new equation, equation B. So there are two equations, equation A and equation B. So we will be simplify that both equation to find out our two unknowns, which is theta B and theta C. Let's see how. So here I have applied this equation A and B and simplifying it. So 1.33 multiplied over here and this 3.67 multiplied over here. So we will be getting same value. So directly we can cancel out and we will be getting theta C value. So this is a basic simply mathematics simplification which we have understood in previous semesters of engineering. So this is a basic simple mathematics. So after solving this, we will be getting theta c. So after getting theta c, place in any of the equation theta or uh, equation a or equation b. So to get equation and forming the value of theta b. So after finding out theta c and theta b, our primary unknown value, we will be finally solving our final moments. Let's see how. So as explained in first uh, example that how to find out these values just to place in the equation 1 we will be getting this minus 6.67 equation 2 8.9 i will be getting then 3 4 5 and 6 as respectively as explained in previous sum we will be putting this value of theta c and theta b we will be getting our final values of final moments at last we have to draw bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram we have to find out respective central span moment so for ab value formula will be wl by 4 for bc wl square by 8 because udl and for eccentric point load it is wab by l so after placing all the value we will be getting our final bending moment diagram so i have explained how to draw this diagram let's understand once again so point load it will be making triangle and value is 50 so placing 50 for UDL, it will be curve and value is 80. And for eccentric point load, mark that point I have placed 1 meter apart from here, maximum value, and 2 meter apart from here is 16.6m, which is the value we have found out. So, triangle for point loads and parabola for or curve for UDL. At last, this end moment, so minus 6.67 of minus 6.7 of plus 8.9 of and as I have explained that at simply support algebraic sum of moments must be equal to 0 here also you can see approximately it is coming 8.9 here also it is coming 12.07 so ultimately keeping all the values and final mo final at D point it is 5.07 and after connecting all the points our diagram is over so let's have a quick revision. So first of all, we have found out fixed end moment, then calculated slope deflection equation, then applied equilibrium equation, then final end moments, and then draw bending moment diagram. Step number one, step number two, step number three, and step number four of final moments, and finally step number five for diagrams calculation. So this is the method how you have to perform in exam. So we did till here.